Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier today, I let you know that Google had rolled out Chrome version 139, which is now the latest release, and I'll leave the video for that link down below and in the end screen. But just a quick follow-up video to let you know about a couple more features that have come to my attention since posting that are also starting to become available in Chrome version 139. Just take note, though, that these features are rolling out using a controlled rollout, which means it may take days, weeks, or even longer than that before you see these new features. So just take note of that. Now, the first is a new feature called Explore in AR Mode. And if we just have a look at an image provided by GHEX, what will happen is you can find a new section called Explore in AR Mode when you click on the address bar or type something. And basically this complements the suggestions that Google Chrome displays, example, if you have bookmarks that match what you are actually typing for and searching for. Now the reason I must probably am not seeing that Explore in AR Mode is because AR Mode is only region specific, mainly in the US and India, not in my region, so that could be a reason. And while we are talking about AR Mode, Something else that came to my attention after posting, and I have posted a video on this previously, is a new AR mode shortcut in the address bar that directly launches the AR powered search. And when I posted on this, it was still in preview, and I cannot actually confirm if this rolled out with 139, but it has become available, so just bringing it to your attention. So if I go to my address bar, and I'll just enter at, you can see at AR mode, ask AR mode, click on that and you can ask it anything from the Omnibox. And when you hit enter, that takes you online to the AR powered search, which as mentioned, isn't available in my region because it's region specific. But nonetheless, if you find yourself in a region, I'm just putting it out there to keep you guys in the loop. And I'll leave the video for this, uh, what I posted on previously down below and in the end screen, because it will give you some more information. And then something else is if we head to delete browsing data and we head to advanced, the passwords and other sign in data, this selection in the delete browsing data dialog is starting to be removed and I actually have posted on this previously when it was still in preview. You can see as mentioned I haven't received it. This change it's rolling out controlled and according to Google you are then redirected to the Google password manager instead because according to Google it helps you better manage and delete passwords and pass keys which I actually think is a move in the right direction. So check that one out. And then for the last one, just to mention in this video, because once again, I haven't received the feature, but for this, I'm going to head over to Chrome Canary, an early preview version. And if I right click and add tab to new group, and I create a tab group, you'll see in the fly out dialog, there's an option to share group. And I actually mentioned this briefly when I posted the early stable. So share tab groups is continuing to roll out in Chrome version 139 using a controlled rollout. Obviously, this enables the sharing of tab groups with other users. So that's just a couple of features rolling out gradually that I'm just bringing to your attention that apparently are now rolling out with Chrome or starting to roll out with Chrome version 139, which is the latest release. So just posting this quick update just to keep us all on the same page. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.